Hi Taurus, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kim Enchantress. I'm here to do your past life reading for issues for December 2019 and it's only for the people that are drawn to the country Egypt or the culture. Now if it doesn't resonate with you guys, I am doing personal readings on special for the month of December only for $20. So I put the link below if you would like to purchase one, uh, please feel free to do so. Now let's go over the reading here, Taurus. Now I picked some sig a significant card here from uh, the Past Life deck. And it is the uh, Egypt Pyramids here to tie in with the reading. And the card that fell out for you was Angels. Now what I'm getting from this card is that you were very religious. You believed in the angels. It's perhaps that you've seen an angel or you this was who um, was your guide. I strongly uh, feel that um, you had a strong religion back in this past incarnation. Now, your personal description, you were very attractive, very well put together, and very popular. The country I was picking up for you in Egypt, oh, sorry, the, the place I was picking up for you in Egypt was Libya, L-O-B-Y-A. That's where you lived. Your personality was very uh, compelling. You were able to talk to a lot of people. You were able to give advice. People felt comfortable with you and trusted you to, with their utmost. Uh, but they had a lot of belief in you here, Taurus. Now, your past life or current relationship could be with a Gemini. And the Gemini are very logical people. They're very curious, though. Um, there was a lot of communication either back in this past incarnation and I have the crossroads here from the Enchanted Lenormand card so this is some of that was possibly um, a twin or a triplet so you're in a relationship maybe with one two or three of the uh, the twins I believe now the romance card tells me that you had romantic feelings for one uh, one of the siblings and I felt that you were exploring this in the past as you were hesitant to which one you wanted to be with. But you definitely showed some strong feelings for one of the other uh, twins or triplets. Now your purpose in life was to be very protective you're a little bit controlling and overbearish at times here, Taurus, but you always done what you had to do for loved ones. So this is how you came across. And your purpose in life was to be protective and to look after the family. You loved about your old life is that you were very emotional and you were very creative at the same time. You're very psychic in your own way as well. And you kept little things hidden. You didn't reveal all your secrets to everybody. Now, your past life death, I have the book here. And this could be uh, something to do with the brain. Maybe a hemorrhage in the brain, I'm feeling. Because this is about the circularity, uh, circular system. Uh, maybe it was an unknown death from a family member as well for some of you. But... I'm feeling there was strong, a strong bond with this person if it was a family member. But there's still things to be revealed. Now, for some of you, definitely it was a brain hemorrhage. Now, your lesson in life is to not be alone, to be ambitious, to reflect on your past so you can uh, build your own empire. This is you wanting to uh, be self-employed. Very proud of what you do as well here. So your unresolved issue is the Dragon's Jewel. And I have this for um, one of the other cards. There was definitely inner conflict. And you had conscious choices to make. Now this could be to do with um, uh, your past love. Because you were with 
the sisters or the brothers um, they were twins or triplets so you couldn't make your choice but I'm feeling for some of you uh, you're a musician this past incarnation to you played an instrument but there's definitely the moon in here too so there's something still hidden that's going to come up again in December from this lifetime now we have the south node here and this is uh, the opposite of your sun sign this is about the past and this is what you hold the rewards of your new growth a cup that was filled by your past and a path of least resistance and we've got the coffin here so um, maybe this is you um, not holding on to negativity maybe that was a strong point in your life back then maybe it's to do with death or an ending of cycles now we have the sapphire from the archangel and gemstone deck and it's asking are you feeling confused are you in search of wisdom and deeper spiritual insight like i said you were the one that everyone came to that felt comfortable so they could air their problems and they felt comfortable around you and you were very wise in this section so you definitely had some psychic abilities here to us now engage in illuminating illuminating activities such as meditation contemplation and reflection so definitely this is your lesson to contemplate and reflect on your past so you can better understand your true nature of reality so you need to pray allow for spiritual truths to be revealed so there is definitely something about your death in this past incarnation that is still to be revealed now this could have definitely been a family member with the ring there and it could have been a Taurian back in that lifetime or Pisces <laughs> Now there is a um, affirmation Archangel Michael wants you to say I'm blessed with deep understanding I have a clear view of the truth I am grateful that I have mental clarity my spiritual life is full I love to share my blessing with others I have great poise and grace so it's definitely what you've done in the past incarnation definitely uh, with your personality to share your blessings with others back in that lifetime so you're about to do that again here Taurus so I hope this has resonated with you and it's going to help for the month of December. But definitely you were tied between siblings back in that um, that lifetime. And they were definitely twins or triplets. Or you just had multiple partners and uh, you always wanted to explore these feelings. You didn't hesitate back then. So um, that's definitely um, something the dragon's jewel has in a conflict and I can read a little bit more of what this means for you so this uh, dragon duel takes place at the proverbial fork in the road and it's definitely what you've got so it's tying in with the crossroads it's both ally and challenger all at once it represents a tension of opposite so even though the truth is that we live in unity we experience the duality of faith and doubt, love and fear, right and wrong, black and white. This aspect of your current experiences is asking you to accept that although you may be going one way or another, you may call to you to change directions. So now is the time to inquire whether it's your ego or your soul leading you. There are always choices in life. Decision making also sol uh, solves in a conflict. If you're torn between two dragons, the one that you choose to feed will be the one that wins. You need to decide which one it is here, Taurus. If it's not the one that serves the highest of your intentions, deliberately feed the other and the jewel will be one in your favour. So that's a nice message that's coming through, but uh, you just need to, to get out of your negative thought head space and um, make that decision. And you'll be fine for December, taking everything into prosperity into 2020. Love and blessings. Bye for now.